So in the last few videos we have learned about the collection, the list, set and map. How to declare a list, how to declare the set map, how to insert the data and uh, how to fetch the data, right? In this video, we're going to talk about the search object query language, the SOQL. If you know SQL, it's pretty much similar to that, but it's very, very much simpler than the SQL query, right? We don't write like very complex SQL, but it's it, the, the syntaxes and all, it's it's same like SQL. But it is not SQL, it is SOQL, search object query language. All right, let me go and write a new class for this. How to use SOQL. Okay, let's understand what is this SOQL? Why do you need this? We already discussed this SOQL in the Salesforce admin chapter where we talk about Workbench. And we have seen how to use SOQL query to fetch some particular data. Yes, hope you remember that. SOQL is basically a query language. See, Salesforce is a database. Salesforce is a database and whenever it comes to data, it's all about insert, update and delete. You as a developer would be doing the same insert, update, delete operation a lot. That's what it'd be doing when it comes to Apex. What it'll do, you will calculate something you, and then after the calculation, either you will insert or delete or update. Whenever you update or delete something from the database, your lead object suppose has one millions of leads, and you want to you want to update or you want to delete only those leads where name is Rajesh. How do you do this through Apex? You first have to reach out to those leads where name is Rajesh. In the database, in the lead object, lead table, there are one million of record. But before you delete the record, you have to first reach out. You have to first establish a reference to those ob to those records where name is equal to Rajesh. This is where SOQL will come into the picture. This query language, the search object query language, this is a select query, select ID name, this, this, this from lead object where name is equal to Rajesh. That's it. This query will help you to build that reference in the backend object the query will help you to fetch the data when name is equal to Rajesh from the lead object okay so whenever you want to delete something whenever you want to update something you have to have a reference of that record whatever whatever you want to go and delete or edit to have the reference in your apex code you have to write a SOQL query so I'm writing a method called learn SOQL and inside the method, I'm going to write one SOQL query. See, this is the syntax to write a SOQL query. Select ID, name, and whatever fields you want to add in that query from, let's say, lead. Okay. The, uh, the difference between the difference between SOQL query and uh, SQL that you have learned is sql you can write you know star if you want to include all the fields but in sql you have to write you have to type in everything if you have like 15 20 fields you have to write it down by putting comma comma to separate it okay if you have like id name first name last name phone number email everything you have to type in. you cannot put star cool this is one thing sql query always return a list of value when it's a list of value, it means multiple values will be returned by this SQL query. In the lead object, there could be many records. Okay, whatever records I have in the lead object, every single record's ID and name will be fetched by this SQL query. Now, SQL query is something which will help you to fetch the data. Once you fetch the data with the help of SQL query, you have to hold it somewhere. And to hold it, let's say I'm taking a variable, lead type of variable. So far, we have seen a variable can be either integer or a text, I mean string or boolean, right? But in the real Apex programming, we'll use an object type of variable a lot. What do you mean by object type of variable? It means this variable name L, okay, this variable name L 
can hold only lead type of value which means this sql query is returning lead type of data which you can hold here in this l variable why because this l variable what is the type is the, the type is lead that means it can hold only lead type of data what if you type here account the moment you click on save you will get an error illegal assignment from list to lead means this list is going to sql will always return a list right so this list is going to return an account type of data but you're trying to hold it in a lead type of variable that's not happening right so either you make it account or in the both side you make it lead right now this error will go right so i'm gonna go and type because it is account let me put acc okay sql query will always return list what do you mean by this let me go and print this variable okay the any code you write you have to write it inside a method you cannot directly type in this code outside of a method inside of a class right the code has to be there inside a method so let me write system dot debug and acc equals to plus acc what do you think what will be the output here i'm doing simply i'm just trying to uh, fetch the account it might have like one millions of account it will try to fetch right if it if it is like one record in the account object that also will try to fetch but end of the day the sql query will always return a list of account here in this case fine let me go and call this method how can i call this method i'm gonna go and copy this class name dot learn sql see the output okay if i execute this highlighted one this checkbox is true do you see this error it says list has more than one row for assignment to its object any guess what is this error line number 15 you will not be able to understand actually what error because there's no line number 15 but this is this is called system dot query exceptions let me just explain you this thing okay it says list has more than one row for assignment to a subject it means this sql query is returning more than one value of account but you have taken a variable and we have already learned it right that variable can hold only one data not multiple data right so this has to be what list type of variable because it is returning multiple values to hold that multiple values it has to be list not a normal variable it has to be a list of account now let me show you one thing what if i put here something called limit one you know what is this limit one is basically it will fetch only one record if you put limit two even though account object has like billions of record it will fetch only two record so i'm putting here one that means this sql query will definitely return only one value only one account record right this will return a record by the way okay and because it's a variable it can easily accommodate only one account record now let me go and run the same code and show you what happened they have executed that code and if i go and try to debug that right you see acc what is in the acc acc has id of that account name of that account why because in my code i have queried id and the name salesforce will randomly pick up only one only uh, one account record um, because you cannot decide like which record would be picked up right we are not giving any where clause you cannot say pick up only that account where name is equal to xyz if you want that then you have to put here where where name is equal to this now you got this right see i just put limit one now this is no error this is not a syntactical error this is a runtime issue this is a variable it can hold only one record of account and this is actually returning only one 
that's why there is no error but the moment you uh, remove this limit and try to hold it in a variable you're gonna get an error okay so now what is if i have to remove limit and i have to hold all the values that has been returned by this account for that i have to take a list and this is how we take a list the difference is this earlier we had taken a list of string list of integer list of a different different data types but here i'm taking a list of account and what does it mean it means this ssc variable is a list variable now which means this ssc variable can hold multiple values that's what we have learned first what is variable then we have learned what is list just to show you the difference between this right this is what the actual use case of list list can hold the data multiple data now if this account has like thousands of records every single record will be there hold inside this variable and if you remember when we learned about list right list is nothing but boxes if this sql query returns nothing then there will be no boxes if this sql query return 10 account records then will be there will be 10 boxes got it now let me save this and call this method and show you what is the output i have executed the method and uh, here we go i let's say have a 15 account record every single account record name let me just increase the screen oh we can see this right the first record id name the second record id name the third record id name and whatever record i have all the records idm na name has been captured right so this is how it works now what if you put here limit one let's say same for limit one what's gonna happen now same thing it will return only one value see list can hold one or multiple value so it has no problem right if it is returning only one value it can easily accommodate there'll be one box then correct list will have only one index and that index will hold whatever data that it is returning in this case if you remove limit then list will be having let's say 10 index and each index will hold one value one account record make sense so this is how it works now i'm going to go to account object and create a new account let me create a new account this time i'm going to give the name of the account as soql soql test that's the name of the account okay the moment you save this data we know right that there'll be an id See, this is the id 001 001 it means account so the moment you save that record this is the id which will be created and what if i have to fetch this id and this record let's say i have to fetch in the sql query that i have like many account records but i have to fetch only this record my name is equal to this simple i'm gonna write the same query let me just remove id and show you something see i have no id here it's just the name and let me just add few more fields okay name and let's say rating by the way sql query when you write when you try to copy this you cannot copy this you cannot copy account space number you know what you have to copy right you have to go to here setup object manager account object and then you have to copy the field name go to the fields let's say account number you have to copy this you cannot copy this label is not gonna work out in the apex code always you have to copy the field name or if it is a, a custom field then you have to copy the underscore underscore c field name make sense so i'm gonna copy this and paste it here name comma this check this out i'm just trying to fetch name and account number from account where name is equals to name is a string right you have to put this quote equals to what s o q l test what's gonna happen now this is going to return the record when name is equal to soql test what i'll do you know i'll just go to the same record called soql test and clone this record press the clone button 
you see the clone button here somewhere Ah, oh, there so let me just annually create another record account record with same name i want to show you another feature of list okay you know that list can allow duplicates now i have two record with name soql okay so what's going to happen if i call this method now and i did debug couple of things that you have to see here okay one see this is giving me the two records where name is equal to sql test first record and second record second thing is that i have to identify here see i did not include the id in my sql query if you see here i haven't included the id of that record but still when you see the output you see id has already been fetched what does it mean and where is the account number by the way i have i had written account number as well right name and account number there is no account number why because account number is empty there is no data in the account number for these two records okay that's why it's not coming but id will always be there if it, even though if you put doesn't put right id will definitely come in the sql query all right now you might be thinking i have used here list and this is allowing you to hold the duplicate values what if you write set here is going to work let me show you something if you put set save see you got an error illegal assignment from list to set i hope you understand this right why i'm going to get this error if no let me just explain this what i told you is this sql query will always return list and you're trying to hold it in a set not going to happen that's what is telling illegal assignment from list to set because this is returning list and you're trying to hold it in a set not going to happen okay so this is how list works with the actual sql query to fetch the data i hope this is clear pretty much how to use list to hold the sql query return data and how to write simple sql query this is a very simple basic query that you have written just to learn just to see how it works what is the syntax is it'll be great if you can write the same code in your developer console and try to print the same variable okay print is important because if you don't print how do you know what is the value that has been returned by this sql query if there is any error or not so every time if you have taken any variable you must print it with the system dot debug this will help you to debug the code right we'll be talking about set and map as well but in the next video i'm going to show you how sql query can help you to fetch the parent value from the child or the child value from the parent basically there's something there's a concept called um, child query which will help you to fetch the child record even though you write the uh, query in the parent object okay so let's talk about the uh, sql query in detail in the next video in the next video